Hey guys, I'm Ira, and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 For The Realm Challenge. Last episode, we picked some baby names, and this episode, I am I am promising you, we are having a baby this episode. I feel like it's definitely been about 15 days. She should be ready to pop here really, really soon. She's like super duper pregnant, and I'm pretty, pretty sure that we'll be getting us a baby this episode. I don't exactly know when, but I'm pretty sure it's around that time. The pregnancy mod I has makes it so that uh, pregnancies last for about like 15 days and I feel like we're we're getting up to there. Every episode I record is about two days, sometimes three, depending on how long I choose to record. So I definitely think that uh, we are getting along to our new baby here soon. So we're going to have to see. But like I mentioned, we picked baby names last episode from our random wheel picker. If it is a girl, it will be Iona. If it is a boy, it'll be Dale. And as always, I don't know which one it's going to be. I try not to eat things or have pregnant sims eat things that will influence the baby's gender, though I know it is something that we can control. I just don't like to do it because I like it to be a surprise for me. So we're not sure what we're going to get. She wants a girl, and I believe Emmerich also wants a girl. Yeah, and she also rolled the wish this morning when she woke up to have a child with him. So they're ready to have their first baby and this baby to be born, and I'm ready for the baby to be born so we can see what it is. I'm super excited. Uh, so that's what we're really looking forward to to this episode i don't have too many plans outside of that because you know i'm just waiting on this new baby uh we just rolled into fall so we got 19 days until winter awesome we're gonna have to go get some firewood i still have not redone that lot yet i've been doing a lot of building off camera well on camera but off camera i've been recording it but i have to put it in a speed build not necessarily for this challenge though i've been doing it for the adventuresome challenge which means they're more uh, modern builds they're not medieval builds when I build stuff, it takes me a long time to do it because I like to I like to put a lot of detail into it. I like to, you know, try it out a lot. So I, I typically don't tend to finish builds very quickly. It is not that I'm not working on them. I just take my time with them, with all the decorations and stuff like that. So I'm I'm working on it and I kept getting frustrated because I, I hated everything I built. I bulldozed it and then I would, uh, you know, try over again a bunch of times because I just didn't like what I was doing. But there's no real plan and I apparently have bills to pay. So whoops, um, let me do that. But there's no real plan for this episode here uh, except for waiting on our baby um i'm still stockpiling money because i do want to see if i can maybe get a couple more families squeezed in here before we move on to the winter time because i don't typically do a lot of uh build placing and family placing hello mailman and all that other stuff like that when um when we are in the middle of winter so i'm hoping that maybe we can maybe we can uh potentially get some more families in here she wants to see jeremy get married and as of right now, I don't have anybody necessarily that I'm pairing Jeremy with. Uh, there are some suggestions in the comments, but I kind of want to see who he might end up kind of, I guess, flirting with naturally. That's kind of what happened, I think, with, um, with, with like, uh, Logan. Like, he just naturally, randomly wanted to start dating uh, Madeline, and I was fine with it. So I think I'm going to kind of try to take the same path with Jeremy. There were not a lot of people for Jeremy to meet when he was younger, so he never really had that, like, you know young relationship thing but we'll see i mean if he doesn't seem to be like connecting with anybody then maybe i'll have to push it a little bit more but i'm trying to let the game do it as naturally as possible i find it to be so much fun when my game kind of does its own thing but there are times when sometimes you know you have to push things a little more than you'd want but i really like it when the game does things on its own i find that to be so interesting i find it to be really fun uh, but I'm gonna get everybody stay started. Maybe I'll have Jeremy go out to the park again so he can meet some of the eligible ladies that are around town. Um, he's pissed because his dad moved that plate. He's like, how dare you move that plate? I, I don't know. How dare you? How dare you? Um, M, I think I want you to work on your writing because you want to get to level seven in the writing skill. You want to write 15 novels. I think that that's something that we can work on today. So why don't you, oh wait, I think I told Justine to use this book, didn't I? Uh, why don't you use this one downstairs, Justine? I'm sorry. I just like <laughs> 180 flipped you. You go use that one and I want him to work in his office today on writing. I think we were writing a book already. No, we were not. Um, what kind of book do we want to write? Uh, hold on. Let me check here and see what, uh, what can get us money. This is the wrong place. Uh, what would be one of the, oops, I keep clicking that. That's not where I'm in to go. 
Um, here, what what would get us some of the best money that we could get right now? He is a nonfiction writer, uh, which is just what he does, but he's been sort of on a creative kick right now. A romance novel. You know what? He's expecting a baby. He could write a romance novel. He's all in a lovey-dovey, mushy-smushy family mood. So maybe he's going to write a romance novel. Uh, what it's going to be called, I don't know. We'll see what they... Um, what they request for us writing. Uh, let's write a romance novel. Yeah, let's do it. Let's write us a romance novel. I know, Justine. We also lost Spade very recently, guys, unexpectedly. I also need to uh, breed these two up because I do want to go ahead and push for a new baby horse. Yes, yeah, she's got 20 days. I think we should work on that. You know what? Let me just do that right now. Why don't the two of you... Uh, is it risky woohoo for horses too? I think I think it applies for everyone. I could push try for a baby, but I think that it applies for everyone, the risky woohoo thing. So let me do that. I'm pretty sure that's how I've been doing it. I don't know why I'm blanking out on how I've tried for uh, a foal all the other times. But um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to let them try uh, for a little foal because it is time for us to get another horse in the family. And she's aging soon uh, to an elder horse, and that means that she won't be able to have any more babies. And I definitely, definitely want to see what we can do. Winter Delight. Oh my god, you know what? That's what it's going to be called. I don't know why. that <laughs> it, it sounds like a fine name to me. It sounds kind of dirty. Is this a smut book, Em? I, I think he's writing a smut book. He's like writing smut fan fiction or something. It's This is what I feel like this is going to be. But let's let him go for it. Let's let him write it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, I have uh, Justine and J uh, Jeremy here going out to the park. Oh my god, Justine, stop! She's doing it again! Justine, stop it! Oh my god, she's so terrible. You know what? You both are divas. Why don't you talk to her? Because I'm pretty sure she's a diva too. Um, let's go over here and chat with her. You are going to get in another fight with him, and it is going to get crazy. <laughs> oh my god. She hates this man and I have no idea why like she met him once and it was like ah oh, you are the worst I freaking hate it um, But Jeremy's here too and I wanted him to come and talk to some of the ladies that are here as well I thought that Lucia was also here, but I think he knows Lucia quite well. I think uh, Despite the fact that Lucia is freaking evil I think he oh no He actually doesn't know her very well So we have to get to know Lucy a little bit more too because she's also an eligible lady here I think that he's pretty good with most of the other eligible ladies technically teenagers are in this world are also a possibility uh, Potentially as well because teenagers in this world can get married obviously they were marrying each other but for now I'm gonna stick with the young adults in the world. It uh, looks like the druids here So let's just go and give her a chat don't ask her to move in let's just check with the chat with the druid and see what happens after we do a couple friendly interactions i'm not going to do anything romantic i'm trying to see if the game will push one of them or one of the sims to naturally do stuff romantic and then i'll take it from there if it seems like that's the way it's going but i haven't seen anything so far with jeremy when he speaks to people that have pushed him to oh wait lucia is here lucia hey where you going, girl? Get over here. I think she's just arriving. No, so let's give her a second. He'll chat with the druid a couple times. Um, and then I think we're going to go stop and chat with uh, Lucia. Because she's also eligible. And then we have to stop and talk to the bard as well. But I'm pretty sure they're both they're both divas. Because she figured that out. Didn't she figure that out last time she talked to her? She didn't. But I've seen her um, chatting with someone else. And it said she was a diva. Either that or it was one of those times when my game crashed. And I had talked to her already. I can't remember. I also made her, so I know she's a diva. But you know, <laughs> there's all those things that go on there. But I'm trying- Oh my god, look at that guy's pompadour. It's so amazing. Are you named after candy? You are not. You're Pringles. You're a Pringles man. Ah, okay, I see. You're not a candy man. You are a Pringles man. That's, um, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> well, guys, this has been going well, I feel like. Um... Oh, are you guys woohooing? That's good. I want you guys to have more babies. <laughs> that's perfect, actually. So wherever Madeline and them are, they're 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 woohooing, and that's good for me. But oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so everybody's been over here chatting. She was actually having apparently a good conversation with uh, her. I think that she was even okay with them being divas to each other, which is kind of interesting. But oops. Well, I guess you can enthuse about the great outdoors. Nothing nothing wrong with that. And then um. 
request a compliment can we do that let's see if if that that gives her like a bad thing because you know she's a straight up diva she's like doesn't my dress look great like don't you want to talk about how awesome my dress is because it's beautiful okay these two aren't making silly faces at each other okay there we go that's what's happening here. and she's pissed at him again she's like how freaking dare you get out of my way and this is leo oh my god hold on guys my phone's ringing Okay, guys, sorry about that. That was like a stupidly long pause, which I did not stop the recording for. So whoopsie daisy on my part. My sister called me because my uncle called. He had recently got a surgery, you know, and it's crazy times right now. So nobody can go visit him and he's in another state and he had to get a surgery and then there were complications and he had to get a second surgery and then there were complications after that. So he wasn't doing very well this past weekend and it was quite stressful for everybody in my house, you know, and it was my mom's birthday and she was just in a terrible mood because her brother was and doing well and he called us today and he's feeling a whole lot better so thanks for that because we were really worried and like nobody right now because of all the craziness and the shelter in place can really go visit him uh very easily so we were really worried so when he called i had to run downstairs to go i had to talk to him and he's feeling a lot better so i feel real good about that um sorry about that weird interlude but uh, back to what we were doing um it's actually i walked away for like 20 minutes here so i honestly kind of forgot what was happening we were at the park talking to people that's what was going on um by the way, my sister says hi. I told her I have to go back and finish recording, and she's like, tell all of your followers that I said hello, that her name is Cosmo Chaos. That's the name she goes by online, and she says hi. I told her I wouldn't tell people, but I guess I guess she can say hi to you guys if, if you wanted to hear from her. If you don't, trust me. She's a weirdo. But um, yes, so uh, we were up here chatting with people. That's what we were doing. She is complimenting her and telling her a dramatic story. My dog is looking for collective over here that's what's going on jeremy is going to read a book all right so lucia rode away on a horse if i'm not mistaken like legit right before i started uh talking to the druid i do believe she just sort of like peaced out there she is yeah she kind of peaced out on the horse here riding away looking all scared because she doesn't know how to ride so we'll have to chat with lucy on another day maybe we'll go by her house so let's see if maybe we can chat over here with the bard a little bit uh, once his sister's done talking with it, let's give her an amusing greeting. Uh, I don't see the point of why not. Let's have you go chat. Who do you not know? Because I feel like you want to know everybody. You're a socialite. You want everybody to know who you are. You want everybody to know your name. You're like, yeah. Oh, you actually don't know the druid too well. Let's go chat with her. You don't know the druid too well. So let's go greet her. Um, after you're done chatting, that sounds like a plan. She's been upstairs painting. Um, because why not? He's been writing. Uh, Mal is woohooing with his wife, apparently. You know what? You guys can woohoo all you want to at this point because, um, can't have any more babies. Um, so I'm fine with that. But what did you want to do? Am hug her amorously? Is that what it was? Yes. Um, we're going to do that instead of you guys just woohooing constantly. Let's knock some of these wishes out the way, shall we? Um, let's go ahead and nope, no woohoo. We're going to, we're going to do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, give her a nice hug. So cute. Mal, you should be going. Did my horses ever woohoo? In all honesty, I don't I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure that this happens this time because I kind of walked away and I didn't see them woohoo, so I honestly don't know if they did. Uh woohoo with ghosts. Let's do that. I think it would make them mates if they did. Yeah, okay, so they haven't. Because they're still just best friends. Like, I need you guys to woohoo from me horses. Go inside of the thing. Oh my god, and they're woohooing too. Can you not go in there? Should we try this one? Would that make it better? Yeah? Oh, no, they can. Okay, cool. I'm gonna watch you guys do it this time. You chatting with the druid? You're chatting with the druid. Did you chat with- hold on. It's really hard to keep focus on what everybody's doing. Uh, are you chatting with the bard? Did she leave? Where are you, Jeremy? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jeremy freaking went home. He's like, screw that, I'm going home. Um, wow, Jeremy. Uh, I was hoping that you chat with some more people, but alrighty. Let's use the bathroom, and then maybe you can work a little bit on your guitar, guitar strings. Um, you, I kind of want you to just chat it up a little bit. Oh my god, I have to fix them all. I don't know. It's probably their outerwear outfits. In all honesty, they all get freaking weird. So let me just, uh, chat with the druid, get to know her, and all the other good jazz. Then watch my horses, woohoo. This is very important. Um, <laughs> I need to watch my horses, woohoo, so that I know that they're woohooing, because they did it before. Alright, come on guys, let's go. 
Yeah, you you get in there, you woohoo for me, you make me baby horse. There we go. They make me baby horse. No, <laughs> you guys make me baby horse. I want you to sell that painting because I don't want it. Let's sell it. Yes, and then um, paint a large painting again because I want money, and I like money. Hey, there we go. Rolled in the hay. Hopefully, she is horse pregnant. <laughs> I am kind of hoping she is. And yeah, he's her mate now. So now they've successfully woohooed. I'm kind of hoping she's horse pregnant so that we can, um, you know, have us a little horse baby. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, hang around, have everybody chat, do what they've been doing for a little while. And uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later in the day. Okay, guys, so, welcome back. Uh, they are getting ready to go to a party. They got invited to a party. Uh, at least I thought they did. I thought the party was around 8-something, so I kind of thought it would have been telling us that it's time to go soon. But it was Elia who got invited, so... Oh, I think that's her phone ringing now, probably telling them to go to the party. So we're gonna go hang out at Thorin's party. We got invited while we were still at the park a little earlier today. No big deal. They came home and did some practice. Uh, she was playing some chess. Did you not eat, baby? Why didn't you eat like I asked you to do? I wanted you to eat so that everybody had food in their stomachs before they went to the- There we go. The party. Hey, Emmerich's like, let me just play a little tune here. Um, but I wanted every- You know what? There might be food there. Hopefully there is food there. So let's go up and go to Thorin's party. Uh, let's go with the whole fam. I will make, uh, Yvette go separate because she's slow. Nah, let's just make everybody go together. I think that's good. We got everybody now. So let's head over to the party so that we can have us some fun with our friends here in the neighborhood oh my god okay there we go everybody's crying though it's i know it's the sad sad day everyone oh my god oh god guys 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 the baby the baby the baby oh my god jeremy is the only one who's freaking out uh em you gotta come back home <laughs> you have to come back home oh no oh no Oh no, like M ran off with to go to the party. Oh no. Only Jeremy and Emmerich are at home by themselves with her and she's having the baby right now, you guys. Ah. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? I'm pretty sure that's probably how they're freaking out right now, but he probably would have ran and grabbed M and told him to come back. Like their mom and everybody else are at the party. Oh my god. It's a formal wear party. I feel like that they would just like you know stay at the party i don't think especially justine she honestly would be like whatever uh but let's talk to verania because you wanted to chat with her t -t 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 friendly introduction apparently we don't know her enough to talk with her uh and let's challenge her to a duel we're not doing that let's just get to chat with her because you want to be friends with her so let's do that you guys know woohooing in people's bed because i knew that that's what you were doing and that's what you always do you guys have no chill whatsoever this is the constant thing with you guys this is why i was afraid you guys would have like a jillion kids if i didn't pay attention to you um let's ask her about her day and chat with danielle a little bit Try not to be all freaky freaky all the time and let's head back over here and see what's going on because holy crap She's like he's freaking the frick frack out. She's having a baby. They're like, ah, oh, what do we do? Um, I need you to come back though him. You're having a baby. You're gonna be a papa I knew this was gonna happen real soon. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes There's a baby coming. There's a baby coming everybody freak just stand and scream because this is how we solve this situation and the, if we scream loud enough the baby will come out okay it can hear us telling it to come out safely oh my god this is hilarious this is a long labor okay there we go it's a baby girl you guys it's a baby girl i started fast forwarding because i'm like i don't want to wait let's go let's go it's a baby girl congratulations on a new baby girl and i get to choose the two traits so we picked our names last episode this is little baby iona oh you guys i'm so happy it's a girl they get their wish oh Little baby Iona. All right, so as always, I'm gonna roll the dice, and the only I will roll it up to three times, and the only time I get to roll it past that is if I end up with the trait that I am not supposed to have that breaks the rules of this challenge. You guys know how this thing works, so let's roll the dice here and see what we get. Nurturing and a workaholic. Okay, 
I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm I'm fine with that in all honesty. She's a hard, super hard worker, but she's also quite nurturing in nature. I will be fine with that. Let's go with it. Oh, we got our little baby girl. Yes, our little baby girl. And uh, I can't tell what color her hair is because she's in a swaddle. <laughs> so I can't see, but oh, little baby Iona, you guys. We got little baby Iona. Oh, look at that face. They all look exactly the same. It's the exact same carbon copy face. I suppose that her her being in a swaddle will give us another little extra um, surprise when she turns into a toddler because I don't know what... Um, I don't know what her hair color is, but I kind of want to tweak her outfit a little bit anyway, though, because it, this looks like a, well, it could stay in a kind of natted up blanket, kind of. I'm going to change the color of the blanket, though. I want to change the color of the blanket, but I don't want to see her hair color now because I feel like it's a secret and it'd be cool to, to figure out if she's a redhead or not, because that's how we're determining the next heir. It's the firstborn child with red hair. I don't know. Should I, should I go change her clothes and see? Because I feel like I might see it. If She doesn't have any of the, the, uh, oh. It's invisible, okay. But she doesn't have any of the like baby hairs on her, at least not ones that I can see through there. So I can't tell if she has uh, red hair or not. But oh, we got little baby Ayana! I'm so happy. Oh, you guys. Okay, well she's really hungry, and the baby's kind of sleepy. And Em, you just had a baby girl. Oh my God, you guys! I'm so happy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna save because I don't. I don't want my game to be stupid to me. Let me save really quickly, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've saved. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have little baby Iona. You can stop freaking. She's looking at him like, she's here. Calm down. You don't have to freak, okay? She's here. But let's put her in the crib. I'm so happy, you guys. We got seven days until we figure out what her hair color is. I don't know what it is. And I don't want to change her clothes now because I like this being a secret. I like this being a secret. Oh my God, Matt, it's okay. It's okay, Em, it's okay. It's okay. Baby's born. It's good. She's good. Mama's good. We're we're fine. We're doing fine. Okay. It's like 11 p.m. Jesus Christ. Uh, because I was fast forwarding through the birth and I wasn't paying attention to what anybody here was doing. Are you getting along with her? I am so proud of you, Justine. I feel like you would ruin relationships so quickly. But you're actually getting along with her. And I am proud of you, girl. She's like the only other teenager here. And you're actually getting along with her. Why don't you compliment her home and chat with her. And don't break relationships. See, I can trust you, Justine. I can leave you alone. As long as you're not with um, Oros. Because you hate you hate that guy. Um, I don't know what it is with you and him. But she just cannot stand that dude. Okay? But um, let's just chat a bit with her some more. Uh, get to know her, compliment her some more, and chat with her like we always do. Yes, yes, yes. And um, we're getting to know everyone. They are probably going to be heading home real soon here anyway, on account of, uh, you know, it's getting kind of late. Uh, but uh, I'm so happy. I can't believe it. We got a baby girl. All right, so she put her down in the crib. Little baby Iona. And I don't know what her hair color is, which is adding to my excitement because I don't know if she's the next heir or not. I can't tell. It's all a secret, and I freaking love it. I like it when my game is uh, surprising to me, um, and I and I don't know what's going on. It entertains me, but it's getting kind of late, and I kind of feel like I probably am going to get these guys in bed. Why is this just sitting here? I mean, it's in good condition. Do you want to just eat this instead of cooking? Why don't you just eat that cookie, I guess? And then um, he wants to hold, pick her up. Is she sleeping? She's not sleeping yet. So why don't you come up and pick her up and snuggle your baby? Or did she just go to sleep? No, she didn't. Okay, kid. Come up and snuggle your baby. Oh, we have a new baby. I'm so happy. All right, but I'm going to get everybody home because it is, in fact, really late. It's like 12 in the morning at this point in time. And uh, we're all done partying. Uh, you too, little miss. I'm happy that you are making friends. That is really good. Um... Because you seem like the person who would very quickly destroy a friendship. So I'm going to get everybody home and in bed. And we'll come back in tomorrow. Oh, look no. at you guys. She's so cute. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Okay, guys, good morning. So it's the next day with little baby Ayola. I know, Emmerich's like, oh, it's my little girl. Yes, it's this baby girl. Oh, it's so adorable. I absolutely love it. Okay, he fed her and got her all ready today. So let's go ahead and put her in the crib and get yourself ready today as well. Uh, let's go ahead and use the restroom and take a bath and get yourself all good for the day. Uh, she is taking a bath and I'd like her to actually cook breakfast again while she's up because, um, uh, Yvette went to sleep a little bit late, uh, yesterday. Uh, and I don't think my horse is pregnant. I feel like we would get the medic, the medication, the notification today. Um, so if we don't before like the afternoon or so, I'm gonna like make them try woohooing again. Because I feel like with the horses, it was happening like the next day or something because they, they are not on the same 15 day like wait thingy for having the babies so if if we don't get it before this afternoon the oops i didn't mean to click plan outfit don't do that i think that uh it's gonna basically we're gonna try again um i think that today um of course emmerich's not gonna go very far today because he just had a new baby and he's like you know all swooning and in love with his little daughter oh my god she's so cute i don't know look at her guys oh i mean all the babies in the sims 3 look exactly the same they're like weird baby things um and then we don't know what color her hair is because whatever hair she got is not sticking out of the swaddle the whole reason why she's still in that swaddle is because i don't want to know now oh are you coming to play with no he's coming to rock in the rocking chair he's like no i'm an old man i'm coming to rock in the rocking chair that's why i'm in here you could rock with your granddaughter if you want I mean, you could, but you don't have to. I think that today that we are going to go play around with Jeremy some more. I'm going to have him chatting some more with some of the ladies around town. Uh, he's really good with the um, with the druid here. Uh, but so far, nothing romantic. Then he's pretty decent friend. That's who knew she was a diva. I knew somebody figured out she was a diva. Um, okay, Serena. He's, he's pretty good with... Um, her they're friends but not as good of friends as with the druid and he doesn't really know lucia much at all like lucia is a lot older than him but technically she's still within his age range uh as in like you know being a young adult so i might make him chat up with lucia a little bit too he doesn't know her too well and we know that she's crazy and freaking evil so there's that as well um you know so she's gonna make some breakfast here up sounds like she's up hello good morning miss yvette new mama yeah so she's gonna make up the bed use the restroom let's take a bath and everybody's so sad and i know but um you know just trying to get through the day guys so i'm gonna get everybody started here what is this oh she's making up the bed uh, i'm gonna get everybody started here and then i think we're gonna play around with jeremy a little bit so welcome back guys it looks like jeremy has decided to go watch a wild horse that has roamed around over to here here he is right here pretty looking horse look at him so pretty uh but he's watching a wild horse randomly he was talking to lucia and they got pretty pretty a pretty nice chunk of relationship jump and i think he's learned like every single trait of hers like super fast but um still no spark so far for our little jeremy he's not having uh -uh. Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know where that just came from. Jesus Christ. But he has not had any sparks that have been flying for him. So that's a thing. But um, he uh, the baby needs to be fed. And I think, yes, I have her all queued up to do so as soon as she was done with this painting. Which is right now. She's downstairs screaming her little head off. Gotta go feed her. He's working on his book. I thought I told him to do this a long freaking time ago. But he decided that he was going to be a rebel and not do what I asked him to do. Uh, he's just watching this. I, 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 who has he not spoken to yet? I, he hasn't really spoken to her too much. Can we go? Well, he knows her. Let's just ask her if she's single, I guess, and ask her her sign and try to get to know her a little bit. Aww. Ask her about her career. Oh. Ask her her sign. Cause I don't think we know all that about her yet. Um, and, uh, not gossip. Um, can we cry on her shoulder? No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Are we asking her about her career yet? Yes, we are. Okay. And then, um, chat with her? Can we just chat? Let's just gossip with her. I think that might be fine. <laughs> Look at these two. They're so cute too. Um, they're married. Um, but they're just flirting with each other. <laughs> okay. Um, she's over here taking care of the little bambino. Yes, our little babe. I think she's doing good. Yes, she's good now. Put her down, mama. And uh, why don't you make some din-din? Uh, let's go do that. 
It's getting late in the day. I am hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that our horse will have babies. We don't have any cheese. We need to start milking our cow every day again because we don't got no cheese, you guys. Oh, no, and we didn't put the breakfast away because I'm an idiot and I have to clean my kitchen really badly. <laughs> but, um, yes, I, I'm hoping that she's horse pregnant and we'll also be getting us a horse baby soon because we definitely, definitely want to try to get some horses in there. So he's chatting with her. You know what? You know what might be what maybe we can do? Okay, so he's learned that she Oh wait, there you go. He got a random wish. That's what I was waiting for. So that's that's exactly what I was waiting for him to roll. So maybe we'll pursue after Serena here. Because that's what popped up. Um He wants to become good friends with Oros, improve the writing skill. We'll get rid of that and let's do this. So we'll pursue her. I also want to do one more thing just to be just to see. They're compatible there. He's writing a book. So maybe this is who he'll go after. Um, all right. So he's chatting with her. Good, good. Cool, cool. Uh, let me do something real quick. What I wanted to do was friendly. Consider attractiveness is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this with everybody who was eligible. And let's see what pops up here. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So Jeremy's practicing some guitar here. I don't think we really got to talk to everybody and do the whole like, you know, uh, what was I doing? Uh, check the um, romance thingy. But he has rolled the wish to want to try to kiss Serena for the first time. So I think that that's who we are going to try to pursue. That's what I was waiting to happen. What are you doing, doggy? Oh, he's just running around. But I think that we could probably go ahead and try to end this episode here. Emmerich, you need to get off your computer, my man. So you, you, you really gotta pee and you're super duper hungry. So let's go take care of that. But we've made some progress this episode. I mean, it wasn't super, super eventful. Because what do you want to do? You want to be worth more than a million dollars. You know what? We're creeping right on up there. But um, we um, made some progress this episode, like I was saying. And the rain is very, very loud. But um, it, it may not have seemed super eventful. But we got ourselves a new baby. We got little baby Iona, which I'm super happy about. She's going to be our little adorable little sweetie pie. And I love it. He's used the restroom here. And let's go ahead and eat some leftover salad that your wife made. And I think that what we're going to do is next episode, we're going to work with Jeremy and trying to pursue some romance because he has yet to do that. So I think we're going to work on that. I might get Emmerich out a little bit, maybe with his dad, uh, possibly. I don't know if she's horse pregnant, but I hope she is. But I think that maybe he'll go out for a quick ride. He wants to ride Fireball anyway. Maybe his dad will go out too and they can go out trying to find some stuff because winter is creeping up on us. We got 18 days left until winter, so... You know, we're moving on along little by little. You get some music with your dinner, uh, Emmerich. It's so awesome. It's like dinner and a show. It's pretty awesome. But uh, yes, uh, I think that next episode we're going to try to work with Jeremy and pursuing some romance. We'll see if maybe he can start a little romance with, um, with her and see how well this works. Uh, we'll see what goes on with all that next episode but i'm gonna go ahead and end this one here so um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a like or don't that is up to you but i do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of the sims 3 for the realm challenge here on the channel thanks guys bye bye